Hey everyone, this is Video Game Fan 1999 here, and I'm back once again to do another gameplay on Mario Kart Wii for the Nintendo Wii. Last time I played on the Shell Cup, and we're gonna get ready to do the next cup in this game and see how well that turns out. But before we get started, I do have a special guest joining with me, and that is Video Game Fan 96. Hello guys, this is here, and I'm gonna be a special guest once again, but on a different cup on Mario Kart Wii. Alright, anyways, without further ado, let's go to single player right now. Go to Grand Prix, switch to carts and bikes like I've been doing on all the other cops. Alright, and I'm gonna have Dominic pick my character that I'm gonna use since he is my special guest. Which case I choose Funky Kong. A Funky Kong? That is a very good choice. And which vehicle should we use for this one? Well, let's see what kind of uh, vehicles Funky Kong can use. Well, he's basically a large character. So, um, we basically, uh, got the standard cart, uh, off-roader, flame flower, piranha flower, jet setter, honey coop, and for bikes, stair bike, flame runner, Wario bike, shooting star, spear, and phantom. Well, I guess for this time, you can use the phantom. Alright, phantom it is. I go automatic. Alright, and the cup that we're gonna do this time is the banana cup. Alright, so, let's get into our first race, which is going to be at Sherbert Land. And this track was originally in Mario Kart 64. Yeah, yeah, this is one of my favorite uh, tracks that they uh, put back from the uh, old Mario Kart games, but it's on Mario Kart Wii. Yep, I do think this was a good track back in the day as well. I really like the music on what they did with that. Let's put that from there right there. Oh, I just hit the wall already. Yeah, that's not good. Well, at least this is already in the race. Also, to those who do not know, when you use, when you use um, a, a bike, you can uh, do, do the thing that Video Game 99 is doing uh, by, by uh, swinging the Wii remote, and when you do that, it allows you to get some additional speed. Yeah, I did explain uh, all about that in the flower cup earlier, uh, when I did that. Well, that is fine. Sometimes it's good to point some things out again if uh, people haven't seen any uh, previous gameplays. Ah, oh, jeez, I just got hit by a penguin there. You gotta be really careful with them on this track of where they're sliding. Oh, really? I hit the wall again? It seems like uh, this bike is so hard to handle in that turn on this track. And since we're actually using Funky Kong for this particular gameplay, I do know that a lot of people have used uh, Funky Kong the online uh, mode on this game. But of course, uh, the online for the Nintendo Wii was uh, discontinued uh, when the Nintendo Wi-Fi connection uh, shut down in 2014. But for people that have a hacked Wii, they could actually... Uh, uh, Play it on, online with the uh, uh, with the homebrew channel that they have, but um, usually the homebrew channel is uh, pretty risky when people are, are trying to get it. But um, uh, I'm not a hacker myself, so for that reason, I'm not going to get the homebrew channel at all. Same here with me, especially since well, even if I did go hard to hack, I 
Yeah, even if I knew how to hack, I, hack, I still wanted to do it anyway because there is a risk it will break my system, which is not good. Yeah, it's the same reason for me why I'm not going to get the homebrew channel at all. This is why uh, I don't want to take that risk, all because of how much I really love my Wii U. Especially uh, due to the fact that it does have backwards compatibility with the Wii. Alright, we got first place! Alright, 15 points coming our way right there. Alright, let's get ready for race number two. Alright, next up we're going to Shy Guy Beach. This is also a track that was in Mario Kart Super Circuit originally. I had some pretty good uh, childhood memories with the uh, Mario Kart Super Circuit when I was little. Uh, I think it was like uh, the first Mario Kart game I ever played, if I were to guess. It, it was definitely a classic Mario Kart game back at the time when that first came out. I do have Mario Kart Super Circuit downloaded on my Wii U. I, I And just earlier, I tricked Baby Daisy so good with that fake on box I was holding right behind her. Alright, let's see how lap two goes. Gotta be careful with the crabs that are moving uh, on this track. And also, another thing to be careful of is those bombs that are launching out of that pirate ship in the background on this track. Oh, jeez! That hurts so bad right there. I literally just ran right into a bomb that was laid on the track right there. Oh, shoot. Get back here, baby Daisy. Oh, come on! She got me so good with the green shell. Come on! We're getting hit everywhere. You're getting Mario Kart hit. <laughs> uh, it, it does make pretty good sense like that. It's uh, a phrase that uh, uh, people sometimes use if they're uh, uh, if they're getting hit all over the place. And trust me, that, that kind of stuff has happened so many times to me on various Mario games, especially in Mario Kart 8 slash Mario Kart Deluxe, that I probably lost count or just wasn't paying attention. Either way, it, it has happened to me so many times. Well, that is insane. Especially don't want that to happen higher CCs. Oh, there's three bananas. And we're gonna get another win first place! Good thing too. Alright, another 15 points right there. Yeah, despite us getting hit uh, several times right there, I'm glad we are still able to hold on for that win. And that's what I like to see. Alright, anyways, on to race number three, which is at Delfino Square. And this is a track that was originally in Mario Kart DS. Yeah, I do like that track, especially since it's pretty much based on uh, Mario Sunshine. Yeah, it makes sense, uh, since... Uh, uh, Super Mario Sunshine does, uh, take place, uh, in Delfino Plaza. Oh, I almost hit that wall there. Alright. I think we'll put that in there, right there. We have another over there right here. 
Uh oh. Oh! Wow! We still got Lucky and avoid that Brad shell. Right there. I, th I think I must have uh, hit my banana die twice. Yeah, there were some moments like that that have uh, happened to me as well, but if something like that happens to you, um, it's not very all that often from what I remember. Oh god, I can't see anything. And on this portion of the track right here, the bridge will uh, raise and lower itself after a certain amount of time. It basically, uh, if the bridge is raised, you can do a trick off of it, which is pretty cool. Oh, there goes the lightning. Alright, final lap. Another banana once again. Oh, how did I hit the wall there? Oh shoot, there was nothing I could do to avoid that but that. And we also got hit by a blue shell. That is not a good sign. Uh, not dead. Yeah, but I hate that when that happens. But no need to worry though. We're still gonna get first place just like that. So there's another 15 points once again. Alright, now it's time for the final race. And our last race is going to be at Waluigi Stadium. And this track is also originally in Mario Kart Double Dash. Alright, let's see what happens here. Yeah, this is also definitely a good track that they uh, bought back into this game. I really like the music that they uh, put into this track. It, it definitely sounds really, really good for what they used. Uh-oh! Darn it! That red shell just had to hurt me so bad. Ah, mm -hmm. oh, we're in the mud. Uh, not to worry though, we're fine as we're still in first place. Alright, lap two. And we're gonna stop here for this part and I'll see you guys in the next part.